Last day of 2017, so happy new year to everybody. And I was just out here doing a project. It's real cold outside. It's down in the negative, I think it's negative 8, negative 10 with the wind chill right now. So I'm just sitting inside this morning drinking some coffee and kind of refurbing my 17 HMR. Now we, I've had that the 17 in a couple different videos. You've seen it. It was just a painted uh, poly stock. Uh, somebody had painted it before I bought it. And you can see it hanging up behind me here. And what I've done so far too is I have three different grits of sandpaper here. I've got some uh, 180 grit sandpaper. I've got some real fine 220 grit. And then I've got some ultra fine uh, scotch bright pads. And what I did is I went with the 180 grit and I sanded it down. Try to get most of the old paint off that I could and kind of rough that surface up a little bit. After that I went with the 220 grit. Um, smoothed everything down. I kind of cleaned up some lines on the stock. The mold lines from when they inject this into the mold machine uh, to make these. I kind of cleaned all those up, kind of softened up all the edges, softened up all the edges on the the stock here. Then I went with a light coat of this, uh, it's almost like a cross between brown and green, some of this Rust-Oleum camouflage uh, for plastic. And I've done one coat of that so far. And that coat's dry now. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take that scotch bright one more time. And I'm going to scotch bright this again, and I'm going to put another coat on it. In for the buttstock, um, I'm going to go ahead and repaint this black. I've kind of smoothed that all down. This had a lot of scratches and stuff like that. Obviously, people setting it down in the ground, stuff like that. So I went through and sanded it down. made it look best I could. I want to keep the Savage logo and stuff on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and repaint this black. And for that, I'm just using some flat black, uh, the cheapest spray paint you can buy here. Also, when I opened this up, and I hadn't noticed it before, is this is a hollow stock. I've got an area here that is empty that would be perfect to put in some emergency gear. Um, you know, maybe a lighter and some uh, fire starter, maybe some rope, uh, maybe a small tool, small screwdriver, an Allen key or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and sand this, uh, sand this down one more time real gently with this ultra fine scotch bright here. This is good shit. I don't know if anybody ever messes with this, but this is really good stuff, especially for metal, wood, everything. Uh, fun project for the morning when you don't want to be outside when it's too damn cold, so stay with me. We'll see how it turns out. Alright, so like I said, I already got one coat on here. I'm going to start with this scotch bright pad. And with this, especially now that I already have a coat, you don't want to apply a whole lot of pressure with this. And you can see it's almost like a Brillo pad type. This is the ultra fine. I think that, you know, they make it in several different grades. But I'm just going to take and just gently rub. Gently wipe this whole thing down, basically like I'm wiping it down. Not a damn it. You know, with any project to do, you want it to look nice. So why not do a do a quality job the first time on whatever you're doing? I don't much see the sense in doing projects like this for enjoyment and half-assing it. When you're sanding, especially with the sandpaper, that's why I went with a fairly fine grit sandpaper, even to start. You know, a 180 grit is pretty fine. Um, you don't want to take, you know, take off too much material. All this stuff is is molded to fit this gun, so you don't, you know, you don't necessarily want to get in there and start knocking off all the edges on the inside and stuff like that. You know, taking these edges down out here is not going to affect the the workings of the gun per se. But when you start getting in there and you start getting real heavy-handed in there, that's when you can start causing problems for yourself as far as putting the firearm back together so that's just something to keep in mind all right so we're gonna move on we're gonna go ahead and put another coat of paint on this thing i usually have my daughter out here to shake paint for me or my son that way i don't have to do it get everything as even as i can Like I said, keep everything ventilated. I got my back door open with a small fan going. So, you can kind of see how it starts out a little darker. And as that dries, it'll flatten out. There won't be any sheen to it. Yeah, see these. Alright guys, so while we're letting that, uh, 
paint dry there, I wanted to go ahead and run the scotch right over the barrel and receiving parts, everything I can get to. Also, one thing I want to touch on is when you have your gun apart, you know, you don't want to be taking your gun apart all the time. But when you do, it's always a good idea to go through and check all your screws, you know, your mounting screws, everything that's that's threaded. It's a good idea to go ahead and check that. Uh, things get rattled loose, things get moved as you're shooting, as you're carrying it around, you know, if you drop it, something like that. You don't have to go crazy with it and get a torque bar and everything. Just, just snug it up. It ain't hard. So I'm going to take my gun oil. I'm just using some Gunslick brand uh, rust preventative oil. And how I do it, everybody does this different, like everything, you know. Opinions are like assholes, we all got them. Anywhere there's going to be any moving parts, like that right there. I'll even give the safety a little drop. Pretty simple, guys, to maintain your tools. They'll work better for you in the long run if you do. Alright guys, so i got everything laid out here. Um, I let everything dry. I give everything three coats. Uh, let it dry. And I probably pulled it off just a little early, but i got other stuff to do and I wanted to get this done. So, I think it'll be alright. But you can see everything turned out pretty good. This is the buttstock plate. We sanded everything down. Uh, polished it and repainted it. The trigger plate. I didn't paint anything on the bolt or the magazine. I did go ahead and paint all of the uh, screws and bolts that come off of it. I painted the heads black so they'd match nice. And I also painted the sling stud. Whoops, damn it. The uh, sling stud screws. Also, we polished all the, the barrel and receiver and everything. Got everything re oiled. And we're ready to rock. So, I wanted to show you before we put it back together. All right, guys, well, that's it for the 17 HMR. Uh, now we're going to shoot it. <coughs> I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm going to let the oil sit and seep in a little bit. Uh, probably eat some lunch here before too long. And then we'll head outside, maybe head down to the pond, see how she shoots, see if we see a squirrel or something. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. Uh, anything you would have done different or done additionally, uh, any questions or anything like that, I'd be happy to get any comments from you guys. Take care, guys. Happy New Year.